Last week when I made a video, I dropped my email address for people to um, send in their questions. Those that can't type their questions in the uh, uh, comment section because of a particular reason. So I dropped my email address for people to send in their questions. <laughs> Funny enough, lots of people sent in their questions and it wasn't even about what we treated last week. It was about uh, the topic we treated last three weeks uh, about uh, initiation of labor using sex. That shows that people are actually following and I think sex is very important to them and that was why they had to concentrate on sex. So today we will be looking at uh, some of the questions asked. Um, I am not going to read it out with my phone. I had them jotted down. So I'm going to take them one after the other. Please, if your question is not answered, I'm very sorry, I'm going to send you the answer. Um, because of the, um, the length of the video, I am, I'm being conscious not to make the video um, very long. So um, I'm going to take a few questions and then the rest, I'll send you your answer to your email. Thank you so much. You guys are the real thing. If you are new here, you are welcome. Please do well to subscribe. Press on the bell icon button to get notified each time I upload my videos. Please share, like, comment. Write down your comments. If you cannot um, comment here, you have questions you want to ask and you cannot ask it here, don't worry. I'm going to send them my email address so that you type in your um, questions and if time permits we'll make a video with it if not i'll send in your answer with your um, email address so we're going to look at the various questions asked and then give answers to them permit me i'm going to be reading it out from my diary this is because i'm filming with my phone and i can't be making use of my phone to read out emails so I wrote them down so we'll be taking it from here so the first question here is when is the safest period to have sex during pregnancy well there is uh, no danger time to have sex all periods are safe for you the first trimester, second trimester, and the third trimester, trimester, all the trimesters are safe for you to have sex. However, there are conditions that will necessitate your avoidance of sexual intercourse. Uh, these conditions can be health related, it can be a personal decision, okay? You may have some con medical conditions that will make your health personnel to frown at you having sex. Conditions like you having placenta previa. Placenta previa is if your placenta is located downward, instead of being at the top, it is located towards uh, your cervix or sometimes closing up the cervix. So in this case, uh, sex is uh, contraindicated or monitored if you are going to be having sex okay so if you have uh, uh, cases like uh, cervical incompetence your service is not uh, competent enough each time you take in there are chances of you expelling the product of conception conception before you get to time um, um, sexual intercourse may 
be contraindicated and some other conditions that may make your health personnel uh, tell you not to have sex during pre pregnancy. So aside these medical conditions and other conditions or uh, personal decisions, every period during your pregnancy is safe for you to have sex. The second question is, if having sex during pregnancy is good, would it affect my baby? Uh, I don't really understand what you mean by affecting your baby, but the only thing I can say for sure is, once uh, fertilization takes place and your baby traveled from the fallopian tube, remember what you treated in our previous video when we talked about the early signs of pregnancy. If you have not seen the video, I'll drop the link in the comment section in the description box. Okay, so go check it out. So once fertilization takes place and um, the fertilized egg travels from the fallopian tube to your womb, development of the fertilized egg starts immediately Okay, now as the baby is growing in your womb, so many other things are happening. Okay, now the baby is um, sealed with a sac. Okay, the sac is known as the amniotic sac. Now inside that sac is filled with fluid, known as the amniotic fluid. So practically, the baby is swimming inside a sac filled with water. Again, your service, that's the door to uh, your womb, will be sealed with a plug, okay? And this plug will only detach when labor starts, uh, unless in the case of uh, cervical incompetence or return labor, okay? But it is sealed and can only be opened when the service starts dilating. So I mentioned this in uh, the onset of labor in our video uh, where we treated uh, the signs of labor. So I'm going to drop the link in the comment section or I'll also put it in the description uh, box. Okay, so um, is it can only give way when um, labor starts and service starts dilating. So this temporary seal, it, it's only shows that what is inside the womb cannot come outside and what is outside cannot gain entrance into the womb okay by so doing this saves your baby from any form of uh, contact from the outside world so if your service for any reason opens the baby is still inside a sack that is filled with water so if you have sexual relationship with your husband uh, i don't think uh, there's any harm to your baby with this thing that i just um, explained okay and again where your husband is uh, uh, getting to is at your vagina okay and it's a kind of long tube that can accommodate your husband's penis Okay, so it doesn't go um, more than that area. So I don't think there's a harm to your baby. The next question I have here is, is sex and exercise will I? Yes, sex is definitely an exercise, an important one at that. So you see, exercise is any activity that gets your heart pumping very fast whatsoever activity you do that gets your heart pumping very fast as an exercise so if you engage yourself in, in, in sex it's definitely exercise okay uh, although this is not actually um, a good explanation to it I'm going to make a full video on sex being a very vital exercise okay so but for the time being, sex is actually 
a very good exercise for a pregnant woman. The next question here is, well, this sounds more like someone that uh, knows me. She said, Jenny, is the clitoris the only part to tickle to get orgasm? Okay, the, the question is actually uh, much, so I will have to read everything before I answer it. She said, Jenny, is the clitoris the only part to tickle to get orgasm? If yes, does it mean penetration is not necessary? I tried clitoris stimulation with my partner and boom, I reached orgasm. The feeling is better experienced than explained. I actually wanted to paraphrase this question, you know, because I, I, at a point I wanted to cut off so many things, but this is not my words, okay? It's coming from someone and I have no right to tamper it. So I'm bringing it the way it is, as raw as it is. And it will also help me to um, answer the question very well. So I'm going to uh, take it one step at a time. So the first is, she said, is the clitoris the only part to tickle to get to orgasm? Now, as a woman, there are so many parts of the body that can be touched to get you aroused. Okay? There are so many parts of the body to touch stimulate to get you wet but it's only the clitoris that can help you get to orgasm so yes it's only the clitoris that can get you to orgasm now the next question she asked is if yes is penetration really necessary so what she means here is if you can take the clitoris and get to orgasm. What's the point having real sex where the penis is inserted into the vagina if you can only take the other uh, sorry if you can only take the clitoris and get to orgasm? So this means that the partner can actually use his thumb or his finger, like we mentioned in that previous video, and get you to orgasm. But what I can say to this is the clitoris is not just what the projection you are seeing at the vulva. It actually extends towards the back of the vagina. So it's not just that projection and the vulva. So it extends at the back of the vagina, which means that during uh, penetration, the Inward and outward thrust of the penis can also be stimulating the extended parts of the clitoris. By so doing, can as well get to orgasm. So penetration is really necessary. So that sends us to. Okay, I think the question has been answered. The rest is explanation that she is giving. So the next question I have here is. My husband is scared of my big tummy. How do I get him to have sex with me? <sighs> oh, okay, I'm not trying to sound unprofessional here, but I think that uh, you really have to expect everything if you're going into marriage. You have to expect every single thing. And it boils down to communication. I think you need to communicate uh, with your husband. Explain things to him. Let him see reasons why you should be having sex as a pregnant woman. Especially if you have gotten to term and labor is far-fetched. Okay, so you have to explain everything to him. The reason why he should do what he should do. If that is difficult, you can uh, get him to attend at the natural clinic with you, see the doctor with you so that the doctor can explain these things to him. Okay, so these are the few questions I'm going to take because of time. 
If your question is not here and is not answered, don't worry. I'm going to send you the answer to your um, email address. And if that is not possible, then it means you have to make uh, a second video of the uh, question and answer section. Okay. Um, if you have questions to ask, I'm also going to drop my email address in this particular video. For the videos that we have done previously, you can uh, pick one of them and ask questions about anything that is confusing or you can also make contribution. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope I answered your questions very well. I, I hope I met you where you want me to meet you. If you are yet to subscribe, too well to subscribe, please share to your friends, share to all pregnant women platforms. Don't let it low, okay? Share to them and um, I'll see you in the next video.